All right, guys. So uh, we're inside at the moment because it is raining, which is a good thing. Um, we've had record dry weather here in Oregon. Uh, I think we've seen rain since June. Um, so anyways, it's raining outside, so we're just inside at the moment. We're going to try to beat the rain to get this done because we just got these today. Um, from Last Fit, I believe it's called. Um, sent some LED bulbs. Uh, uh, so we're going to see how they go. Um, got some license plate bulbs, which I already have some LEDs in there. They're just Amazon. I don't even know what brand they are. Um, they work good. They're bright. Last Fit told me that theirs are brighter. So I was like, you know what? Sure, we'll try them. And then some backup bulbs. Now, I know there's uh, only so much you can do on the Forerunners with the reverse bulbs because the housing's only so big. But they say those are the brightest, and I haven't replaced them yet, so we're going to give those a try. Um, if you wanted to get your own, I'll put a link in the description below, and I've got a discount code that I believe will get you 10% off. So we're going to throw these in. I'm probably going to go ahead and install both of these and only one side of these um, so we can compare the LED bulb with the uh, OEM halogen bulb. Uh, I can do a before and after picture, but honestly, even when you match the settings on the camera, it it's deceiving. So uh, unfortunately, video doesn't really give the best idea, even side by side, it won't always, but I'll, I'll let you know what I think. Um, I do have the Miso Customs Hitch Pod with the Baja Designs S1 reverse light, so I've got plenty of light, um, but I am curious to see how these work. I do want to do the LED turn signals also. Um, and I might, depending on how this goes, get those also, and we'll do those in a future video. But for now, it's just the backup bulbs, license plate bulbs, and looking at the website, uh, these will run you about 15 bucks. These will run you about 30. Again, discount code below, uh, gets you 10% off of that. So, uh, Let's move the four under and see if we can't maybe back into the garage a little bit here and try to beat this rain, get these installed. All right, instead of uh, wasting time moving the four under since it's actually dry at the moment, I figured to come out and just do these license plate lights because I can do the reverse lights with the hatch open. So pretty simple, a couple Phillips screws and uh, we'll replace the bulbs. So you can see the bulb on the left is what I had in there and the bulb on the right in the packaging is obviously the last fit looks almost identical. There's some different markings and some different circuitry. The last foot one looks bigger. Um, so we're gonna swap them anyways, just to see because uh, they can't hurt to be updated. That only took a few minutes, but uh, it started raining midway. I didn't want to stop, so I'm quite wet. Got the hatch open though, so we're under it now, so we've got a little bit of dryness. An interesting thing, it rained so hard last night that even with the back window down just a couple inches, like I always leave it, uh, it blew rain into the back, which isn't a big deal. It'll dry, but I'm just amazed at how much rain it blew in here. So I'm gonna grab a towel, dry it off, uh, grab an interior pry tool. We'll pull some panels off and get the backup lights in. All right, so we're in the back of the foreigner again under the hatch because it's raining. Got the bulbs and grab some of the interior pry tools. Uh, if you don't have any of these, buy some. They're cheap on Amazon, and if you're going to change bulbs or do anything to the interior, these make life easy. Um, this particular set I bought years ago, it's linked in the description. Um, there's several more than just these three. I think it's like a 10 or 11 piece set, but I just grabbed a few of them. That always seems to work. So uh, back of the foreigner. What we want to do, get you set up here. Um, it's not this panel where the jack and the lug wrench is, but this panel gives you access to the tail lights. So if you pry it from the front, most of the vehicle, it'll pop out pretty easily. Ah, pop back in on me here. Can't get it. 
get a hold of it. There we go. And then it just falls out. So pry it from the front and the back will come undone. So in here, the lowest one is your backup light. This is the, uh, let's see, turn signals up top. I'm not sure what that one is. Should be the lowest one is the backup light. So we'll just twist it out of there. It's a tight fit. And there's the bulb. So, all right. So again, we're in the very back of the rig, and driver's side taillights back here. I just took the backup bulb out of the bottom and then we're going to replace it. So, you can see, there's the bulb that comes out and the bulbs that are going to go in. All right, so it has popped back in. Um, it is important to note that these LED bulbs, uh, polarity matters, and there's no way to tell if you get it right or wrong uh, other than just to try them. So, that one's in. I'm going to go try it, make sure it comes on. If not, I'm just going to flip the polarity. All right, so they're on. I got it right the first try, and it is uh, definitely brighter. So I realize that it's daytime. We're kind of looking at the light, but that is the new bulb. There's the old bulb. So you know what? Let's uh. Let me see if I can just move the forward here somewhere and get a shot of both of them. All right, so I just drove up the road ring back up a little bit. Um, and hopefully you can see that because the last fit bulb was quite a bit brighter. In fact, it's daylight out and it's leaving spots, so I'm not staring at it. Uh, right side is the stock incandescent bulb. Left side is the new last fit LED bulb. So nonetheless, even if it's not significantly brighter, it definitely looks nicer. That's a much better looking bulb. So while we're here and it's not raining at the moment, I'm going to swap out the other side. All right, so just like the first side, we're over on the passenger side now. Start at the front, pop it out. Once the front's popped out, now this falls. It's the lowest bulb twisted out of there. It is counterclockwise to come out. At least it is on this side. And there's the bulb. It's probably a little warm. Oh, it's not bad. So factory bulb. Pop in the LED bulb. And we're gonna test it real quick. Didn't get it right on this first try. So we'll simply spin the bulb to other polarity. Try it one more time just to be sure. And that is definitely the right way. So, I turn it off just not to burn my hand because they do get hot. All right, let me turn it clockwise to lock it in. Take the panel, set the rear first, snap it in, and that's it. Let's kick them on, see what they look like. All right, so that's all there is to it. kick on the uh, S1, which is gonna be quite a bit brighter, but you're also spending a lot of money for that. All right, I'll get to using them tonight when it gets dark and uh, see what they're like. All right, so ran up the road just to get some quick pictures. And uh, now that it is dark outside, weather over there 
Uh, these backup lights are bright. <laughs> they, they are no joke bright. I'm uh, quite impressed. So, not only do they look good, like color-wise, they're bright. I mean, they are bright. So, hopefully they last. Uh, license plate lights are plenty bright too. So, let's uh, wrap up. I got the rig, parking brake set, set really hard, pointed downhill in reverse, so it's not gonna run over them even the doors open to watch it but again they look good all right let me throw this in parking pick up stuff all right guys so just got back to the house i'm drenched it's amazing how wet i got in just a little bit of rain today uh or it's a lot of rain but a little bit of time i spent outside switching these bulbs but anyways that's oregon we're happy to have the rain um i tell you what i'm impressed with these bulbs uh i have not upgraded uh, my reverse lights ever because I've always read that nothing you do will make them any brighter but just now backing into the driveway I don't know how well the video shows it it lit up my garage and everything way more than it ever has in the past um, I've always depended on my Miso Customs hitch pod with the Baja Designs S1 um, which I kicked on for a second just for comparison I mean, it's, it's obviously really bright but uh, I, I don't need it to back into the driveway easily and see normally I'm backing around my wife's car but uh I'm sold. So hopefully they last. Um, I'm going to get a hold of last fit and see if they have any uh, turn signal bulbs. I really like to do the turn signals too. Um, checking on the website, they list them all. So again, I'll put a link uh, to this in the description below. And uh, again, there's a discount code 10% off. So um, yeah, I think the video speaks for itself. They're plenty bright. Um, and if they don't last, I'll, I'll bring it up, but so far so good. So uh, hopefully they go good and everything's the way they should be. We'll be on to the next one. So thanks everyone. See you next time.